Archimedes had a very simple idea. Um, he said that he can lift the earth. He could lift the earth if he had a place to stand. Uh, it's a very famous claim made by is one of the greatest mathematicians of all time and uh, this is actually the starting point of barycentric coordinates. What does it mean when he said uh, that he could leave, lift the earth if he had enough space and a place to stand? It basically means uh, something called principle of livers. If you have a liver, a liver is just like a seesaw, so maybe something like this and let's suppose it's a long bar, it's one of the early examples of a simple machine. Suppose this is a liver and this is the fulcrum, this is the fulcrum about which the liver is being balanced, uh, then it is possible to balance the liver about this fulcrum by two unequal weights. And why is that? So suppose we have, this is the mass 1, the mass of the earth, and this is suppose mass 2, the mass of Archimedes. Let's say this point is A, this point is B, and this point is F. And the principle of liver basically says that M1 times AF is equal to M2 times BF if the liver is balanced. Now, if we make BF serve sufficiently long, if we make BF make this long enough, then it would compensate for the smallness of mass of Archimedes. So Archimedes is just one man. So M2 is the mass of Archimedes. Uh, so whatever smallness of this mass might be and what, however large M1 could be, uh, by making BF sufficiently long or AF sufficiently small or both, potentially both, uh, you could balance this liver about the fulcrum. So if it's in the balanced position, it would look like this. This is the earth, this is the man, and this is earth, <laughs> the fulcrum. Now, with this principle in mind, we can actually talk about the first example of barycentric coordinates, and that is of the fulcrum. Suppose this mass is M1 and the mass of Archimedes is M2 as discussed earlier. Then the barycentric coordinate of F would be M1, M2. That is the masses that would balance out uh, the liver about this fulcrum. And this is not unique. For example, let's take a simple example. A simple example. Suppose the fulcrum is in the middle. If the fulcrum is in the middle, then you could just put M uh, equal masses, M and M, at the two ends. And that equal mass could be, let's say, 10, could be 15, Could be any two numbers which are equal to each other. So in that sense the mass point coordinate of F would be 10 comma 10 or it could be also be 15 comma 15 and so on. So it's not unique 
But if you take away a common factor, then it would be unique. So if you take away 15, for example, then it's 1 comma 1. If you take away 10 for from here, it's also 1 comma 1. So after taking away all the common factors, it would be unique. Will it always be integers? Certainly not. I mean, it largely depends. So m1 over m2 from this particular equation is bf over af. So this is bf, the ratio of this length with the ratio of af. And the ratio of bf over af might not always be an integer. Uh, we discussed in one, in one of our classes how to find a point inside a segment ab such that the ratio of the two parts are not an integer or not rational. Uh, we might go into that construction one more time. But uh, first I want to I want you to give it a try. Uh, try to think how to find. So this is a question. This is a question. How to find a point F inside AB such that AF over BF is not ratio of integers. This is actually not uh, very much relevant to uh, the theory of barycentric coordinates, but it's just a fun geometry exercise. So give it a try and stay tuned. We'll be back in the next uh, video. Also, the link in the description will take you to the main page. Thank you.